Today we're looking at something that should be straightforward but is giving a lot of people a lot of problems. Maybe you're coming from a quadruple 11, you've collected hundreds of models, IP adapters, lots and whatnot over the years and you want to push this across to Confi. Or if you're in my situation, you have an existing Confi install that's taking forever to load and specifically in the browser. In my case, it takes up to five seconds just to load the GUI for Confi. And that's not a server issue. That's entirely based on the GUI and specifically light graph and all the extra nodes that I have running in there, taking too much time and ruining the performance, not just of the interface, but also of the rendering. And that of course is a problem. You can use, by the way, the developer tools to select the function that's currently giving you trouble. And here I can see that cgen.js is linked to one of my custom nodes. I could go and design it, but quite frankly, it's just too much hassle. Sometimes I just need something to just work. So let me give you an example. I'm using SDXS here and I'm going to run a queue with a batch size of one and we're just going to auto queue it so it goes a little bit faster and SDXS being SDXS, I'm getting tons of well, let's call it bears per second, I suppose. <laughs> and SDXS, if you're not familiar, it's an interesting technology that uses a one-step diffusion to very quickly generate images, but the quality is kind of so-so. So one thing you can do if you have a problem with the performance of your interface is you can go into the manager and disable the previews, but it's more of a hack than anything else, really. Plus, the previews are sort of useful, so we need a permanent solution. Now, of course, this is entirely linked, to be clear, to the very high number of custom nodes I have running, but in reality, I need this stuff to work. I just can't do without. It's just the situation we find ourselves in with Confi today. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna kill this server instance. I'm gonna go and download a brand new copy of Confi, just as if I was coming from a quadruple 11, or maybe, as I said, I just want to have another copy. I'm gonna go to releases. I'm going to download the latest version. Of course, I have a video on how to install Confi. We're just gonna do it very quickly. Unzip zip it, place it into a folder, just to get ourselves going. I'm gonna go to the folder where I unzipped this new version of Confi. I have two, I have Windows Portable and Windows Portable Plane. I called it Plane, you can call it whatever you want. And little tip here, go to NVIDIA GPU BAT, go into Edit in Notepad, click that, and add at the end of the string here, dash dash verbose. And that's going to be very useful in a second because we want Confi to tell us where it's getting its models from. This is particularly useful if you're having problems with path and things like that. Next, we're going to go into the Confi UI folder, find a file called extra model path dot yaml dot example. We're gonna remove the example part of the extension so that it becomes a regular yaml file and we're going to open that into our favorite text editor. I use Sublime, but you can use whatever you want. We're not coming from a quadruple 11, so we're gonna delete this and we're not coming from any other interface, so we're gonna delete that too. We're going to uncomment these lines of code and we're going to go into our file explorer and we're going to find where Confi UI Windows Portable, the original version, the one that contains all our existing model is located. We really want that folder called Confi UI and no other folder, guys. So make sure you got that one selected. Double click it so you can get the path, copy it using Control C, go back to the YAML file, paste it as the base path. And also be very careful if I had accidentally indented this incorrectly, it would not function and Confi wouldn't even tell you why. It would just fail. And that's why I think it's so confusing for people. Also make sure that the base path does not contain an end slash. So now what's going to happen is that our new install is gonna read from this folder, meaning the old folder that contains all our cool models. And if we look actually at the new Confi install, we can see that it contains a lot less folder. And that just gives you a rough idea of how much stuff gets installed when you install those custom nodes, when you download cool new things like SDXS and so on and so forth. So now we're going to start the server. And of course it's instantaneous compared to my regular version of Confi. It loads in microsecond, it's incredible. But more importantly, because we use the verbose command line parameter, we can actually see what Confi is doing. And it's telling us that it's found a search path for the folders that we specified and it's using them, selecting 62 new model from where we specified it. And sure enough, now when we go into our workflow when we reopen it, we find the unit, the clip and the V exactly where we wanted them. So we can actually give it a little spin because SDXS is kind of fun. I'm generating a hundred images at a time and it's gonna take about 10 seconds, which 
is faster, believe it or not, on this instance than it is on my usual instance because I don't have the junk that clogs up the system, if you will. Yeah, 12 seconds. Okay, not bad, right? <laughs> now let's switch the batch back to one and we're going to enable the auto queue. But first let's change the prompt to a cute dog. Let's hit go. And sure enough, we get a lot of dogs per second. Now look at this. We're getting an image every 10 milliseconds. And of course, because this is completely dynamic, I can go and change the prompt at any time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag the save image and don't forget, it's also saving the image to disk, right? Every single time. So this is pretty damn fast. And I'm gonna type a cute cat on a mountain uh, with uh, say wings. And you see the image changing as I type while flying in the sky. And now we're gonna get the sky, sure enough. Now the image is not very high quality, I understand that, but it's extremely fast. In theory, it can go up to 100 frames per second. I'm on a 4090. Because of the config GUI auto queue overhead, I'm getting about eight frames per second. I don't think that's that bad, but yes, if you really want that extra speed, you want to use an empty latent image batch of a hundred, process them all in one go and it will go a lot faster, evidently, evidently. It's like the analogy of putting one cookie in the oven at a time or putting a hundred cookie in the ovens at a time. Uh, you want to put the most, I like cookies, don't, don't ask me why. So how much faster is this really using a clean config install versus using your usual one that's packed with stuff? Well, the numbers don't lie. This is the old install and it was taking me an average of 0.19 to 0.20 seconds to generate an image. And on the new install, on the one that's completely fresh, no config manager, no nothing, because SDXS support is baked in config UI, I can use it without any extensions and I'm getting a wonderful 0.09 seconds, 0.10 seconds, which is 10 frames per second. Of course, it's still limited by the config UI, but it's progress. And as I said, you can always batch thing into latents if you want to go even faster. So that's that. I hope you discovered something new. And of course, this workflow is located on float as per usual, so you can play with it even if you don't have a fast computer. See you later, guys. Take care. You watched until the end. That's very kind of you.